Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and I am here with Dodger Wolf once again, and we are going to be going over his Phantom Knight deck with the Hero Package. Everybody has been requesting this multiple times a day for weeks now. It's insane. So I got I got the man here himself, and let's just hop right into the deck profile. Or oh wait, okay, do you want to do right. any shoutouts before we hop in? I don't want to forget again. And uh, now, just if the people uh, want to ask me something or just go to DB and start messaging me like the people is doing right now that, hey, put me the combos. So people is asking me opinions about, oh, I want to try the deck for a local tournament. So give me your list or your edits or your opinion. So you can just go message me. I am up to. I am still recovering from my surgery. So I am in bed all the, all the day. So I have free time just to play in the game. So, yeah. All right, um, let's just hop right in. Okay, hello guys, you know, I am Dodger Wolf. Uh, sorry, my English is not uh, very good. I just try to explain the, uh, the simplest possible, the few things about it. All the people is asking me my version of the, of the, the Destiny Hero Pack and, and is here. I, I still don't think it's that necessary or is the, the best version, but it's still a really, really good deck. K is now tier one for me. Also, I I've been testing this version and and has a really really good uh win percentage in the high rated of of the DB against top players and against top decks. So that is really good. So I'm gonna try to explain the 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 difference between both version because you know I I am I was running the Isolde package and and most uh options in the extra deck like the the F zero package because it gives you more versatility and try to push through interruptions going second if they don't fit to catch you with the arch nemesis card or with the lancea uh because once once a new card arrives and you're gonna try to change your deck you have to ask you first uh, what improves your deck? What is the what is the difference between your actual version and the new one, and if it's worth it? For example, uh, for the hero package, you are are uh, sacrificing or wasting five main deck spots and three extra ticket spots. That sometimes in the PKs with a lot of options that you can play, it it's a it's a really big deal. And the difference between uh, the you're going first, your end board, you you are not resolving the main problem that is putting up spell trap negate, but the pop is really useful because it can play better on cards like uh, like Mystic Mine or like Evenly Match that is getting more popular. But beside of that, uh, it 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 doesn't improve that much besides the artifact combo. But also a fun fact is that on the normal version without the Destiny Hero package, you can just play again with the Rusty Pop, the Dag the Bue. Uh It's kind of harder without the Enforcer because you can play around Droplet uh, with, without the Enforcer, but you can still have more options. So that's the main difference before that. And you know, in the main version with the hero package, you always remember that you can just use those five spots for more extenders or more hand trumps or going second cards to try to uh, be going second better. So that's the one thing that you have to, to know before try to build your deck. Besides that, the engine is really powerful. It gives you, again, good follow-up. Just is the, the fact that you can break with, that, with, with it sometimes and it sucks. But besides of that, it's a it's a really good card and and it's getting really popular. And the version with it just allows you to play the, the artifact combo and, and play around droplet. Well if they open the droplet and, and any trap you can play around it. Uh, like droplet impair you you lose if they open engine too, but but sometimes life is hard. So yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> just go for the for the main radius. I'm still like the tour guide, and, and, and I think in this version, tour guide is, is really important because it's a really powerful normal summon. People are just trying to save their, their Ash, 
or or cut or impact cut like that for for Rusty because try to break in the the point of the of the artifact combo because they are scared or try to wait for the fusion destiny. So Turga is normally resolving right now. Also, uh, if you open tour guide with with one extender, you can play a run nib in the artifact combo. Also, if you can, if you open like tour guide, uh, Kagemusha and another extender like our emergency teleport or any phantom knight like boots in the hand, you can play a run nib and droplet with the artifact combo. So it's really powerful. Have your engine and sometimes if you if you bring like your fusion destiny. Uh, double Fisher Destiny Celestial are uh, one hand trap. If you open up top deck, Turga is still really very good because it's one card go for all your engine. So, so I am uh, I am producing that three Turga, three Kage because Kage is the the best extender along with the Turga. Uh, and also you are uh, you are playing other extender as well. In this version, I don't have the scar because you don't have the Dante, you don't have the F0 package, you don't need it, and you don't want to, to break with, with another uh, random level three monster that can be used as normal sumo. So you don't play the, the Skarm on this version. And uh, and the picky package is three Thorn Scales, two Cloak, and uh, two Boots. You have to cut one Boots for, for the hand or so for the other extenders because uh, sometimes you just try to normal summon the tour guide and Boots is still an, an engine card that can be searched or can be dropped. So so you just want to to maximize the number of this version and stain and gloves are mandatory on all the versions. And for all the extenders, like I said, I play eight extenders, like three Kagamushas and five of the SK packet that is two tracker, one wielder and one Italy. I just don't play in the 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 dangers anymore because uh, the dangers uh, can be can be difficult on this deck because if if you activate and and, and they discard like like a brick if you draw a celestial or or, or dasher is really hard also they they are that extender that play harder into the arch nemesis card. And you and you want two extenders that always go through, uh, so so that's the reason you don't want to discard card anymore. So I am not playing the dangers anymore. And and that's the main core are like uh, twenty monsters, twenty main monsters of the engine. And I think it's really good enough to open your engine without with with less less percentage for brick. So yeah. And and then for the for the going second cards, the 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 main problem of it because you are playing the packages that you can play nine or twelve if you want to run your your full engine, so you just have to space for six. And I am playing the the most powerful entrance on this format for me, the Lancian and Roller Lockbird. Lockbird is really, really good on this format. It's a lot of them like the uh, like the bird deck. Uh, against Sorso, they can search uh, the trap or or the Arch Nemesis card if they don't hard open it. And, and a lot of decks like the Dogmatica Engine, uh, sometimes the the Virtual War, any any other deck is hard uh, really hard by draw. Also, it's it's like the PK, but you're running Lancia. The Lancia is really good too against PKs, against Virtual War, against Tri Brigade. Against again the source because you call it the Arch Nemesis card, you, you call in a lot of pots. So so I think Lance is still a, a really powerful card. So it's a fun fact that that if you if you are running the deck the engine you can just if you wanted if some scenarios to protect you from cards like Evil or something, you can just go for for Lancia too instead of the of the side. It's a fun fact it's a, it's a option that but you can get access to. So people don't know. So yeah, as if you open those cards and your engine, you are feel safe and, and going one. Also, going a getting a, a strong engine. If you don't open going second cards, if they don't fit you, you can 
push through negation. In this in this version is harder than my 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 first version with this older package, but but you're gonna try too because the the PK engine is really good. And for the other powerful cards, you know, uh, called by the grave and and rota, you don't have to explain this card. This card is really useful against against the enforcer. Uh, I gonna, I gonna change the. You, I don't know if you can get a cut on this part, but my headphones are saying that it's a really low. Maybe gonna drop, so I gonna change it for for another. You gonna change what for what? Uh, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so please hold on one second. Hey, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't watch the, the low battery of my other headphones. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Okay, so so uh, I continue from here. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, sorry about that. A little interruption. So, like I was saying, I uh, called by the great don't don't need explanation, it's a really good card in general against Lancea. Also, I, I go in second against Enforcer or something useful card. You have to play in main deck. And for the for the traps, three fog play, one wings and one shade. And you don't you don't have to run sword anymore on this version because you don't have the the Dante to pitch cards. You don't have uh so many access to these cards, so so you don't want to break with with more with one more trap. Also, you don't need the, the other name of this version because with two, is is really enough. You just want to put fog blades on the on your board and try to get the wings in the gray to play around droplet in the with the artifact combo. So that's for the uh, and also put the the hero package. That's for the for the main deck. I don't know if you have any question about it. Um, I think you went over a lot of it. Uh, I guess I'm just kind of curious. Do you think six main deck going second cards is enough in this format? I think if you, if you open uh, one of those, yeah, it's, it's, it's enough on, on this deck. Uh, like I said, it's, it's on this version. On my normal version, I am playing 11. But uh, you don't have to run with that. Because if you want to play more going second cards on this version, you have to cut like the Turgal engine, I, and I think it's really powerful. Like like I said, if you open like Droll, one Fish and Destiny, and one Tour Guide, or any or any two PKs and or Tour Guide and one Extender, going second, you can just break the board and push through a lot. So, so I was testing. Uh, this version with this and and I'd rather see see engine cards because I was uh, because in the first version I was in the situation because I had droplet in the main two and two more hand -term. like I, I I break it a lot I I don't wanna like I like all my every single game I I was drawing the bricks also the bricks with win one fish and destiny and and I don't really want to see the card in my hand sometimes I, I I really like the the fusion getting the access in in through the combo like Verte, but sometimes I I rather have another extender to go in for the, for my engine and for the combo than having the fusion destiny. So that was so that's the reason that that I was complaining the the first time testing the deck, like like that situation didn't happen in my in my other version. Because I I have more extenders, more hunter, and more going second cards, and and I I wasn't missing the 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 hero package. So that's 
that's the reason that in my main version I am not playing it. I I, I think with the with the brave with the brave support enforcer is better in that version. But but on this, uh, I don't think I mean it's good, but it's not that necessary sometimes to win the games, and and you don't because sometimes this deck with the with the artifact combo it can it can be turning into a into a dice roll version. Like if you go in first, yeah, you win if they don't uh, draw the droplet. But if you go in second, if you just have uh, more going second card, but you break with a range and you just you just not winning. As on my actual version, going second or or going first, I I finish the games on on game one on game three. But on this version, it's harder to go to push the OTK. If you waste your resources, uh, like the dra- like like the random draws, you you are not winning it. So that's the reason I just still uh those six hand terms and and that's work it finally so that's last with that version of this yeah fair enough fair enough like personally my build plays um like with the hero stuff i play a little bit more going second cards but like you said you like the tour guide in the deck um that's where like our deck list would be a little bit different um, I, I get what you're saying. If you think that opening up Fusion Destiny isn't as good as opening up, like, a level 3 extender, though, then why wouldn't you just cut Fusion Destiny down to, like, 1, and then play, like, more level 3s, and then you still have access through it through Anaconda? Because if I, if I rather could uh, Fusion Destiny to 1, I wouldn't play the package. So, so you just play in this package over Dragoon sometimes, because you can draw the fusion and it's not a a, a carnal or, or or you don't break your combo. You can bait the with Berte the oh they because sometimes you're the situation that you can just bait the negation just going for Berte Anaconda and they can impern or, or negate the or with that interruption and you can just use your copy in your hand and, and play it. So you you still have to play the, the three cards because it get it gives you that options and that possibilities, but but sometimes I I if you don't know if you open a starter, you rather to see another extender depending on the situation, because like I said, you have to play the the three copies. If if done, you don't play. Uh, you shouldn't play the package to be honest, because the then doesn't worth it the the bricks and the and the extra deck spots. Because wasting uh, your extra access loss with Link Spider, uh, it hurts you because you you have a lot of options like I don't know, Redoer or go for the Agri Rebellion package, or go for another powerful card that give you more possibilities going second. But so I if I wouldn't play the three, I I wouldn't play the package then. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but you have to. Alright, fair enough. Um, you guys want to hop into the extra deck now? Yeah, for the extra deck, uh, on this version, like I said, I want to add more bricks to the deck. I I, I have the, the artifact package on the side deck. So, most of the time, uh, also, I, I am, uh, especially on DB, I am a, a really no player right now. So, they are, they sometimes don't don't know that, that I am playing. They're, oh, okay, game one, they... Uh, he doesn't play in the artifact package, and then you go for for the for the artifact combo game two or three. Also, like I said, they don't op- uh, if they don't open the droplet, uh, you are, you just sort of win against against most of the meta decks except Flanderis. But if you are playing Flanderis, you are ready. Uh, you are already losing, bro. So so no, don't play the deck. That is so bad. <laughs> I agree. Flo Flo Flanderis is like. Or if you don't open, what is the card? Dimensional Shifter, yeah, you auto win. But if you don't play, you just auto lose. So no, play the deck. Also, uh, Droplet, you have to play Droplet in your main or in your side on this format 100%. If you don't, you are a loser, bro. So yeah, you have to play it. A three token collector, a really good card. And Sword Soul is the, the second most popular deck of 
and also it's really good because if you open token collector with another going second card so with another hand trap with with your engine you are you are feel really safer also for going first uh if you open uh order or or anti-spell fragments with your with your artifact combo you use auto win so yeah and for going second cards, uh, Harpies and Lightning Storm for back, for back row decks or Lightning Storm is a really good card in general against some boards because most of the sorts of players don't respect the Lightning Storms and put the, the Synchros and attack and you can just bait the, ne the negations too. So it's a pretty standard extra deck right now on, on this on this format are uh, really powerful cards that you can play too if you want to make changes or you can rule it can be the dimensional barrier is a really good card in this format on the side deck also the the artifact uh the trap yes i don't know it's artifact santum because you already are main decking the or side decking the side so by not playing another powerful card that is a fit the cat so yeah, that is the that's the reason of the side deck. Of course, always guys, you can play the side deck that you want that you feel comfortable that uh, you can adapt it to to the decks that you play most like in your locals in your tournaments. So yeah, so that is just an an example of in general. At the extra deck, uh, to break sword you have to play two one for the two more combo. And the second one for the follow-up, the uh, Sea Dragon is really standard and really good. Uh, Downer and Zeus, mandatory. Uh, Evilson Nightmare, Rusty, Cherubini, Apollosa, Anaconda, Tall Curling Spider, Unicorn, uh, IP, and Enforcer. So uh, for your game one and two, I think this is a, this is a really standard extra deck. Also in game two or three, you go in fear, you can cut cards like like Downer, like uh, IP, like Unicorn, just for go for, for the deck that you can cut anything for that. Also the, the Enforcer, you, if you play in the Enforcer, you have to play the Burton, the Link Spider. It's sad because that card does two spot socks, two ways for that, but you have to. Also... I think the IP is really still really good because sometimes you you face the situation that you have a random card like a Nibiru token or a or a hand trap or and you can turn all like a token collector you can turn those monster into IP that is too dark and and any other card it gives you access to rusty also is a really good card going first because unicorn is really strong and it's another option like like Evil Son Nightmare on, on game one because I don't have the the artifact combo. So your first turn board is like Rusty, Apollosa and either IP or or Evil Son Nightmare. Or you can play a, a round droplet, just put in the the Rusty, the Evil Son Nightmare and the IP. If they droplet and they don't pitch the card, you can just uh one fog a if they send like three monsters like Fog Blade, then IP Effect, then Revive Something and go for a Palooza and you just have two monsters on the field instead of three and they and you miss the double. So that's another option that, that I really like to hide by pin the extra deck and Unicorn is another good piece to climb into access and go for a TK. You can just you can just cut the, the IP and uh, and the Unicorn for the Arc Rebellion package if you want. But yeah, I really like those. Those thing because because also the the dimensional barrier is is still getting more popularity. So if they collect zip, they could more cards of you. So the links is still very good. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else you wanna say about this list? We've already gone over uh, no. everything. So, um, you still said you know at the beginning of the video you still find your um a sold package with like the run on living fossil to be stronger than the um hero package so i guess the question that a lot of people are probably asking is like are you still playing the sold package like as like your main version of this and is is this more of just like a testing build 
like trying to like yeah, see if the stuff is better or not. But yeah, I, I think you made it pretty clear at the beginning that uh you like the assault stuff way more. Yeah, of course. Because like I said, I rather have my guaranteed follow up in the sea with the living fossil with the assault the search, it filling my graveyard than having just an enforcer that can be called by the grave and not two random uh, draws that maybe doesn't help you because, yeah, you just rather to, to guarantee your, your next follow-up place. But like I said, the the main strong of the PKs is not just how to win the first tour one with the side. The main strong of the deck is you can put a really good Ember and you can set a really good follow-up to finish the game on game three. So you just gonna try to survive and, and OTK the next turn. So it's it's all with the same goal and, and they sold the package fit more with that concept than the than the hero package. So so that's my final thoughts about it. If the people wanna wanna know about it and wanna ask about it. But this is my, my actual version on the hero package and like I said, it's still really good. You can try you if you like it and it, it has a really good win percentage. The, the deck with the with the different variances is still really strong. If you know how to play it, you know how to to run it. So yeah, that that version is about just a small difference between some situations. But but yeah, that's the the final thoughts about it. All right, um, and like he said at the beginning of the video, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and message him on Dueling Book. You know, at at Dodger Wolf. Um, so you can go message him. Uh, I appreciate you for doing this deck profile with me. Uh, like like I said, everybody has been asking for your deck profile nonstop. Even like three days after your last deck profile, people were asking for updates on it. And it's, it's actually insane. I get asked for your deck list more than anybody else on the channel ever, probably. And yeah, so here we go. We got the hero build of it. Um, so... I guess that's really it. You have any uh, last words you want to say? Oh, that that will that will be great. I think that the people enjoy PKs because I really fun deck. So I am glad to to be that that requested. To to be honest, I am a really good person. I play in a uh, majority of the time for fun. So just ask me anything now you want. I'm gonna try to reply the comments with any doubts that you have. Also, uh, probably we we gonna make a if you want to me we can make a a combo video and try to test hands and and try to teach you routes that you can go for it depending on what you have. So if if the people like it, we can make more content uh, about it. If, if if it helps you and it helps the people, I am up to that. So that. All right. Yeah, we can uh, we can definitely make a combo video. Um, probably hit you up on like Monday for that. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. So that that will be it for the video. Thank you for for having me another time on the channel. Yep. And thank you for being here. And uh. And I love it. I really like the channel and and love the the content and, and all the stuff. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I like having you on the channel. You know, you, you always be breaking the most crazy boards. And also, Finanite is one of those decks that, you know, it, it's cool to watch. Especially, like, seeing it go from, you know, a lot of people seeing the deck as just a complete rogue trash deck. And then the last, like, month, people were like, oh, wait, this deck's actually not bad. Even, like, right before Bode, when the deck had, like, no new support or anything, people were like, oh, wait, if you play this deck correctly, like, your end boards are actually just insane. Like, you auto win going first, and then, like, going second, you have space for hand traps, unlike other combo decks. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I was playing the engine in the deck, like, one year ago, and all the people said, no, that deck is, is, is not good, it's trash, and I was like, no, bro, this is good, and I'm still doing very fine with it, I mean... It's like a one year straight that I am always in the top rated of DB with just playing PK, different versions with Dragon with some stuff of that. And and, and like I said on DB is a really, really good players and the meta is changing. So the deck is 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 also being very solid but people never realize that 
because they was looking for another option like Dragonling or something more popular because the, the engine is really strong. If you play very well, like you say, you you don't open going second card, but you open your engine, you can smack boards like Sorcel. If they didn't fit the card, you don't care. You just break the Baron and the Fleur and, and all those things you can play through it. So the deck is very fun. It's, it's really interesting. So I really like that, that the deck is changing. We're going to have more support like Brave. Brave token supports and that stuff gonna help more the deck so so we're gonna for it so i i am really uh happy to see the people realizing and now all the people are saying that pk is there one now but yeah that's that's really interesting yeah i also thought it was funny how like like i said like a lot of people did like just straight up disrespected this deck and then all of a sudden people realized it was like an actual deck and like while that happened you know you were like the fan of my player on dueling book at like top rated so you kind of like you know led the led the army of phantom knight players and like the hype behind it too i think you were definitely like a big reason of like the phantom knight deck being pushed just because like people were like watching you on dueling book or like watching you on my channel and they were seeing you just break the most insane boards yeah, yeah, it's really funny. Uh, but the people have to understand that, yeah, the deck has the possibilities, but you have to think your place too. You you have to play around the, the deck that the, uh, the other player uh, is playing, the searches, the, the probably uh, interruption that it has. And you have to think about it. But if you can play, uh, write the deck, you can break boards. And and the the other people are gonna say like them I have like four or five interruptions and they are got brought in out and the next turn he OTK me and you're like and you feel really really good about it but yeah we we're gonna try to to still making that always you 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 won't gonna you you won't gonna win all the games and you you won't gonna break all the boards but the deck have the option of the tool just just try it just play it it's a really fun deck so. If the the people like the the PK army just just go for it and and ask me if you have any loves I am I am up for it. Yeah, I'm down for sure. Also, like I was playing this deck uh, like a lot recently, and uh, it's just so cool. Like when you get to like break like the five interruption boards, and then like they have nothing, and you still have all your follow up, and you still have interruptions. Uh, it just feels the best. It feels so like. I don't even know how to explain it. It feels just so good. Just because, yeah, like, oh, because like, you played it right and like you just deserved to win because you just played it better than your opponent. Yeah, because the people never realize that cards like Fogli are really strong because there is not uh, just an interruption. It's a really a follow-up card or an extender. So it, the, the, games have, uh, the deck has a lot of tools to, to, to go in for that. Also, the interactions like Cherubini with the with the brakes or behind it protecting it like Cherubini uh, being able to protect itself from pops. You have another card for destruction. It has so many interruptions that that are really strong that that can climb into a good link like Unicorn and Axis code that you can go for for really strong uh, X Y C monster. So yeah, no, uh, I I think you're gonna get enough fun playing the deck. So. So let's see how how you perform on on this, on the next uh, high rated, uh, like like Iron Man so tournaments. We're gonna we're gonna see that. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right. With all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.